Hello there, YouTube and whatever. Today is the 11th of September. 11th of September? Didn't the plane crash into the Twin Towers? Never mind. Who cares? Monday, 11th September 2017, 1.04pm. A couple of days already, no internet since Friday, so it's been three days, god damn it. Something is wrong with the router, the internet, who knows, Unify is supposed to come today and and uh, fix things up, but life must go on. Got three events to upload, but I can't because internet is kaput. And uh, it is what it is, what to do. I mean, having no internet for three days is like being in jail for 10 years. For me, didn't even go into my YouTube page. I can do it with my smartphone, but that will exceed the limit, uh, the megabyte limit per week, which I think is, I'm not sure, 800 megabytes. Hopefully, it is because I already use 400 megabytes. So, I did not go into my YouTube page at all. Don't know what's happening. I got three events which I'm pending or uh, waiting to up upload so three days of no work and no releasing of videos they might be a uh, godsend to you guys because I keep on releasing videos five to ten videos a day what to do the events that is pending is uh, Gurson with Hannah Delisha which is here then there will be a uh, Langalamu, that's the, they call her the little Teresa Ting, the singer who died of asphyxiation, slept and died. That was a long time ago, a lot of people love her songs. It was a long, long time ago she died early or young because she could not breathe while she was sleeping. So they had an event in Bajaya Times Square, I was there to film it. Uh, it was on Saturday in conjunction with what Canon Marathon, which I know is going to like start in the early hours of the morning. That's why they were running around in their red shirts. Nothing, nothing to do with Star Trek. So I was there filming uh, the contestants who were we vying, vying to to get a place, a slot to sing with Langa Lamu. Uh, during one of the concerts, maybe in Malaysia. So, it was quite interesting indeed. Uh, they're going to have a final this Saturday, I think. Yeah, this Saturday in Bajai Times Square as well. Besides Bajai Times Square, they were going around Penang, Melaka to look for contestants. And they will bring them all into Kuala Lumpur, Bajai Times Square this Saturday, 16th of September, if I'm not mistaken. Uh... <coughs> <coughs> so while this was this was happening, the internet was down, uh, and I was feeling down as well because no internet. So it's a vicious cycle, and Ouroboros, a snake, eating its tail, and I do not know what to do, and shit. And there was a pageant happening just next door, so I watched next door, not hoping to, not. Uh, not not expecting anything because I did not like uh, uh, give my notice in advance. I just go there, talk to this girl, the coordinator, but nothing to do with uh, Gundam seat. So this coordinator by the name of Nikki, uh, and she let me in, thank God, found a place to sit down, ate, ate some food. Good stuff at the Arena Starlight place here, Park 51. Uh, what I love most was the fried prawns. Oh my god, so delicious. I ate the head as well. Besides that, they have the lotus glutinous rice. Glutinous rice that is, uh, which was paved, or not paved, seasoned with lots and lots of, uh, of um, soya sauce, dark thick soya sauce, mushrooms, lap cheong or Chinese sausages, not this one here. Uh, and wrap around round uh, uh, glutinous rice that is wrapped in uh, lotus leaf, then steamed, and it came out delicious. So two things that that uh, I did not film, of course. 
uh, lotus glutinous rice and the fried deep fried prawns very delicious did not film it at all try to film the the shows that were happening in this what's the name of this pageant Miss Charming I think Mrs. Charming sorry Booklet here, Mrs. Charming International. So all these uh, pageants have been happening at the back or in the building that I'm staying in. A couple of pageants already. It's quite a nice venue. A bit small, but it's nice. There's a stage there, so it's nice. There are a lot of tables. Unfortunately for me as a videographer, there's not much. Uh, it was a bit too packed. You know, you want to move around is going to be difficult but it was a full house so there was this was the seventh Mrs. Charming International Malaysia had a good time there because uh, my table was at the back most and at the rowdiest table they had a lot of whiskey around so I drank one shot and I was already floored so good times I didn't think that's about it actually there was another event happening at uh, uh, Palace of the Golden Horses, that's the uh, very old hotel. It was very charming back in its day, maybe 10 years ago. But now it's like fallen into disrepair. But they were having a KL Fashion Week, I think. Well, not KL Fashion Week, International Fashion Week, no, I'm not sure. I did not go because internet was down, no point in accumulating too much work or backlog. So did not go and of course Palace of the Golden Horses is a bit far away I did not like to go there because sometimes I get lost and fuck I don't know how to go there I mean I have to take a big round for me I have to go to Mid Valley for Mid Valley go to Churras and from there there's an exit somewhere that goes into Golden Horses there so aka Golden Horses is the same route route to the mines so you know, go there. Uh, f fashion, boring. You can just go and like film pretty girls in dresses. Bleh. And last week also, I'm. I wanted to go to this hotel for this international jewelers exhibition, but nah, boring. Go pretty girls in diamonds and whatever does not float in my boat. So lots of things happening and no internet. Fuck. So quite interesting indeed. So that's my update uh, for this week. No internet, no fire to go. I mean, no fire under my ass to go out and look for content. Supposed to like uh, put this Gerson with Hana Delisha content out on Saturday, but internet down. Shit. <sighs> what to do? What to do? So that's about it. That's my update. It's terrible when you don't have internet. I know first world problems. What to do? Can't check my mail. I mean, I can check my mail through my smartphone. Can't check my proper YouTube page. And uh, for the past three days, since I've not been doing anything, before the internet was down, I was able to download season one and season two of. The Expanse Blu-ray edition, so I was watching it to while away the time. So at least that's a win-win for me. When the internet is down, I don't have the ability to watch stuff on in on YouTube. So so I had the had the time to watch The Expanse again, and it was still very good after twice viewing it. So this is kind of like my third time or maybe two and a half times it's good stuff go and watch the expense from the sci-fi channel or sci-fi network very good <sighs> nothing much happening the internet was like down and I just wanted to go back to Epo and upload all this shit but uh, kinda like lazy to do so so interesting stuff all these small pageants I can go to you can talk to the coordinator directly, tell them what happened, can 
ask them whether you can go and like film it or photograph it who doesn't want free advertisement right because uh, I, they have a videographer okay in all these pageants they have a videographer and the videographer is actually hopefully recording for historical purposes <coughs> and uh, the main thing of these videographers the official videographers is to to put the image of what's happening or the video that of what's happening on the noisy mosque put what's happening or the performances on stage onto the big screen which is everywhere a lot of small screens and the huge projectors up there that's their main purpose their purpose is not to advertise it or show it on YouTube that, that's where I come in so I go there shoot the interesting stuff and and yeah tell the world that there is something that is called Mrs. Mrs. Charming International Malaysia hopefully in the future if you're interested you're an older woman or a married woman you can go and get your passion if you have enough money go and get a title if you've got nothing to do if your hubby is very rich and he, he loves you to death and he has a lot of money go and have fun doing all these things because desperate housewives need to need to like do something yeah to while away the time and to learn something new which is to be ambassadors learn many things like walking or uh, walking is a no-brainer no and anybody can do it but walking on stage perfectly with high heels on is a very difficult thing and uh, you have to learn the mannerisms for for being a we call contestant if you go around you can't say you have to do like this so that's the way of the pageants you know you want to you want to wave at somebody you do this yeah just this this one looks a bit too normal to coarse to rough okay hey! no you can't do that you can do like this smile and have a sincere smile don't have my type of weird scary and lecherous smile grin a face that wants to rape people right so Oh, one thing about this video is I did not film the results, the end of the show. I was already like tired. Uh, my mood was not that good because, again, all attributed to no internet. No internet can fuck me up. So, all oh, the Hannah the Lisha one, uh, that uh, event, I asked them through Facebook whether I can come. They say can, no problem. So, and I did not realize that the venue was IOI City Mall, which is quite far away, about less than an hour's, less than an hour away. So, I went there. I wasn't on the list, and it was strange. And I told the coordinator there, hey, "Can you ask the other people inside there? Because there are lots of companies when it comes to all these small little events." So go in there and ask, yeah, 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 you can come in, no problem. So I got my media tag, which is the second one from Gerson. The second time I'm covering Gerson as media. First time was at Pavilion Elite. No, sorry. Pavilion. Uh, the, the, that, that event involving Lee Kuan Su of Running Man fame. Oh, did I tell you guys that this, the Running Man show from the mines, I was told to take down the video because now it's copyrighted so I took it down so you don't get to watch it anymore you don't get to watch that one particular particular girl from this from the running man uh, what's her name I forgot what's her name anyway uh, so small little pageants should be all right to go and film and help around the problem with all these pageants is when you hang around the vanity wall where the the girls or women like to like take pictures you're wearing a sony shirt that i always wear when i go to all these events 
I got a Sony logo and a photograph at the back, so they look at me. Ah, you are a professional. Come, take take my picture or help me take take uh, my picture using my uh, smartphone. What to do? You have to. So I take the smartphone and I don't like using smartphones because I'm scared of the shakiness. You know, I take it. I'm a little bit nervous, so I'm not sure whether it's gonna be perfect or not. So. Yeah, small events is the one ones to go to. They are more charming. The one in the last week, I was I got rejected by some Mrs. Malaysia World at the Majestic Hotel. There was a lot of security. It's crazy, man. It's even I never seen security before, and this one had security. Even Brand Lawrence does not have security. Even big guys with like gloves and stuff. Oh god, and I could not enter. So big events. They won't let me in, unfortunately. But never mind. Who gives a shit? There's a lot of pageants here. Oh, and in Mrs. Charming International, I made a new friend by the name of Raymond, a photographer. So, yeah, at least there's some win-win. Good pageant. Go and patronize it. Support it. Who knows? Uh, once you get your mom or your your friend in there then you buy a table then there's voting system there's a lot of titles there so no problem you can go and get some titles maybe miss friendly miss photogenic miss charming which is the main one here or other misses there's a lot you can like put on your vanity wall your missus friendship and lots and lots of things can be fun yeah it's great fun for me great fun for the Participants, great fun for the organizer. Okay, maybe it's a bit hectic for the organizer because they have to like make sure nothing fucks up. You know, sometimes what's what happens is, uh, something happens on on a stage. There was a performance and uh, they use uh, two chairs and once the performance is finished, they can't like somebody forgot to take the chairs away from the stage. So whoops, there's a lot of like logistics or. Uh, things you have to co coordinate well because you don't want to you want a uh, very smooth sailing ship so again Miss Charming unfortunately there was no free beer but uh, my table had a couple of like Chinese guys around uh, you know what's important what's uh, good about all these Mrs. Internet Mrs. Uh, pageants even though they are older, hopefully it will be like crowded with people and uh, since they are older, uh, they bring their husbands around and those husbands normally they are uh, well to do and they bring their own whiskey or they buy the whiskey there and you can have a good time with them. It's good roaring fun. Whereas in the Miss category or Miss pageants, uh, there's a bit more less strong alcohol around to go by so no, that's about it that's my update uh, hopefully the internet will be sorted out today my fingers are hurting from buying, playing company of heroes 2 the skirmish mode with the AI and I'm not getting any like experience points to open the loot boxes because there's no internet Never mind, see you later. Bye bye.